Hello, I'm Tyler, and welcome to today's episode of TIY, and today we're making French press coffee. I promise that we'll use that drill at some point, but no, today we're making French press coffee. Here's a French press, it's right here, so we're gonna be using this, not the drill. Okay, so the reason why I wanna make a French press coffee is not just because I haven't made it before, it's because I'm a pretty big coffee addict. In fact, I could probably use a coffee right now. On a day-to-day -day basis, I get about two cups of coffee. Now, if you get all of those coffees at coffee shops, you end up spending a lot of money. Now, for your like basic coffee that you might get at like a, a Dunkin' Donuts, a Starbucks, a coffee bean, I've got it covered. I make my own quick brew coffee. It's not much for taste, but when it comes to caffeine, it's basically like jet fuel. So it does the trick most of the time. I don't just get coffee for the caffeine. Now, I, I definitely love the caffeine, but I also do like the flavor of coffee. If I want to go to a place that has more sort of like premium flavored brewed coffee, I have to go to some of these more expensive baristas or coffee shops. And when you go to those kinds of places, especially in Los Angeles, they can charge up to $5 for a cup of coffee. And that's a lot of money. Not to mention, if you ever get hungry in these kinds of places, they do have things like scones and blueberry muffins, but those also tend to cost about $5 too. So just to get a little bit more flavor, you go to one of these places and you end up getting a $5 coffee, a $5 scone, you're spending like $10 just for a little bit more flavor. So what I want to do is be able to create my own premium flavor coffee if I ever want it, at home. What I've heard is that if you want more flavor out of your coffee, you need to use a French press. French presses use pressure to actually push more gases out of the coffee, which then makes it more flavorful. Also, I've heard a lot of these places use French presses, so we'll see if I can do it too. If I could recreate that flavor at home, I could save a ton of money and also get sort of my fix of coffee, whether it be jet fuel coffee or more flavorful coffee. So I think the best way to test to see if I can make a cup of coffee as good as one of these premium coffee shops would be to do a blind taste test with Sophia. So what I'm gonna do is go to a coffee shop and get one of those cups of coffee, and then I'm gonna use the French press to make my own, put them both in front of Sophia, and see if she can guess which one came from the coffee shop. That would be a good test. Okay, let's get started. To brew the coffee, I'm gonna need coffee beans that are not yet ground, a coffee grinder to grind them, a scale to weigh them, a thermometer, a measuring cup, and of course, just kidding, a French press. I held off on having my second cup of coffee for this so that I could make my second cup of coffee. I usually have two and I didn't have it, and so I'm going a little delirious right now. But I'm excited. The internet told me that it only takes four minutes and 30 seconds for this to brew, and the internet is never wrong. No. In four minutes and 30 seconds, theoretically, although this is the first time I've ever done this, I'm gonna have a fresh cup of coffee out of this. Fresh. In lieu of not having a second coffee, I've been eating these, which are these M&M candy bar things that I made last week. They're rock hard. They're not good anymore. But they're full of sugar. So they're firing me up. I start by boiling water. And while the water's heating up, I'm gonna get the coffee grounds ready. I'm gonna measure out 17 grams over on our scale, and I'm gonna grind them up. Again, I've never used this grinder before. It seems pretty intuitive. We're on a little bit of a timer because when the water starts boiling, we're gonna turn it off, we're gonna let it cool to 205, and we're gonna have to keep on moving. Apparently a lot of this French press stuff is about the timing, it's about the temperature, it's about exact measurements. I open this guy. Woo! Woo! Ooh. Okay, so here I screwed up. You can't even see the weight on the scale. What? First pour! I pinky swear it was 17 grams the first time. First pour. That was like the water bottle, the plastic water bottle flipping challenge of coffee grind pouring. If that's a thing. That's not a thing, but it could be a thing. If it was a thing, that'd be the first example of it. We got the coffee grounds. We're gonna grind them up. Grind them up. Look at this. And we got ground coffee. With the beans ground and the water boiled, it's time to start French pressing. Now that the water's boiling, we're gonna turn off the stove. We're gonna let it sit for a second, and then we're gonna use it actually to rinse out the French press. I just like doing that. I wanna put a quarter of the water in. Yee! So now that this is rinsed out, I'm gonna be putting the coffee grinds in on the bottom, spread them out evenly, and once that's ready, I'm gonna start pouring the hot water into the French press. The coffee is in the French press, now we're gonna put a little bit of the hot water in. It's called the bloom, apparently. And it's gonna start blooming. Ah! I caught it. Oh my God, that would've been a disaster. It smells incredible. 
Once this is sat for 30 seconds, I take a spoon and I break up the crust at the top. Let's do it. Once I've done that, I pour the remaining water in, and I place the lid on the French press, and I let it sit for three and a half minutes. The French press has the plunger up. I'm gonna push that down. That should filter the ground to coffee, and then we'll have our French press coffee. Or just our coffee. We just call it coffee. It smells good, to be honest. The aromas that are coming off of it look great. I was trying to get really cool shots of it while we're filming, so we'll see if that got in the way of the flavor. The flavor. I need it, actually. I am totally crashing. I was gonna eat some of these chocolate chips to try to hold me over. Would've been a bad idea. Almost there. The coffee is brewing. That looks good, man. Okay, here's the moment of truth. It's been three and a half minutes. We're gonna press this down gently. Nice. Okay, so I did not make enough. Their measurements weren't that, their measurements weren't right. But I definitely made coffee. Let's see if this tastes okay. You guys like my Power Rangers mug? I loved Power Rangers growing up, man. Tommy, the red Power Ranger. Or was Tommy the green Power Ranger? Oh, it's hot. A little bitter. Tastes really good though. That's good coffee. Ah. Here's Saf. What's up? Hey babe. Hi. I was just making my coffee. Oh my god, it's so late to be drinking coffee. Mmm. It is late to be drinking. Can I have some? Yeah, I gotta make you do a blind taste test of it though. Oh, okay, sorry. So, no. But not yet. You can't have it yet. Okay. All right, guys. Maybe it's a little bit bitter just because I let it sit for a second. This tastes way better, though, than any of the things I've made before. French press, man. And finally, sauce taste test. I'm doing that thing where you put your boobs on the table. Okay, so I made Sophia her French press coffee, okay? Fine. And you're going to taste test them and see which one is done by the fancy barista or Tyler, your boyfriend. Oh, I thought you were the fancy barista. Fancy barista Tyler or the not-so-fancy barista at the fancy place. Yeah, Boo. No. Thumbs Boo. down. We want her to choose me, but she doesn't actually know which one it is. No, it's I have no It's a blind taste test. It's so. a blind taste test. So, here we go. Ready? You don't have to swirl them around, because I already don't no, know No, that's perfect. No. Okay. Because I want to make sure that they know that there's integrity to this. Okay. You know, so. Palette cleanser will be these ginger slices and a cup of water in case you need to rinse and spit. No, French press. It's gonna be such a bad flavor combo. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. No, honestly, French press. It's gonna press, be like orange juice and toothpaste. It's gonna be good. Don't worry about it. Um, so basically, though, French press is when you have that French press thing, and when you make it, it releases extra gases from the coffee that bring more flavor to it. Mm, that sounds like me. So we're what? Yeah, the gases. <laughs> Gas plus coffee. They didn't think about that, right? They're like, here's why it's great. There's more gases in the coffee. Gases. You're like, um. I got enough of those. Yeah. Okay. Same ready? amount of poop, though. You smell them? Yeah. Well, I'll let you do your whole process. I don't know. Isn't that what the people do? I guess. I think they, they could swish, they spit it out or something. I don't know. All right, I'm going for this one first. Yeah. Because it's a little warmer. Okay. Yeah. It's um. This is pretty good. Pretty good? It's like, um, a little watery, <laughs> but like not too bitter. We just do the SpongeBob thing. You're just... <laughs> All right. Well, don't no, say okay. whether it's mine or not until so you try both. No, obviously. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna cleanse my palate with some ginger. This I'm, is gonna I'm ruin, nervous. This is gonna ruin the second cup. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. I still don't know what French press is. You know what it looks like? Where is it? It's right here. This is the French press. Mm. Pretty cool, right? Candy. Vamping. Candy ginger plus. Candy ginger plus coffee tastes like soap. Really? Yeah. How do you know what soap tastes like? Come on, everyone knows what soap tastes like. Hey, this one? Yeah. It's a little colder than the other one. Oh, come on. Maybe it is. This one's better. Yeah? Yeah. Which one do you think is from a barista? I don't know, which one is it? That's mine. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, I like that one better. So even though it's not from a barista, you like it more? 
Well, I'm the barista. Okay, here's- that's, I am the barista. This is confusing because this one was colder, so I would assume that you had to go get this one, and then you made this one at home. Trickery. But in fact, you made it first and then left to go get it? <laughs> I didn't plan it out at all. I'm sorry! No, I, don't apologize to me, I just think oh, it's a funny- it. No, it's mine. It's good, right? This one's actually really good. I don't know, maybe it's just the ginger. No, I'm just kidding. It's so, very, so the taste very, test was- soft, I'm just I, patting your boob, it's very good. Whoop. So I was gonna guess which one came for the barista, but end up being which one she liked more, and she liked mine more. Yeah. Oh, sorry, was I supposed to pick guess? I guess I didn't really make it very clear. Yeah. I just wanted to do a black I, taste I, test. I thought you were trying to, try to tell me which one's better. We ended up in the same place. That's good. You happy? I'm happy. I'm yeah, I, happy. I'm you happy. You have a nice cup of coffee. If you're happy, a yeah, cup I'm of happy. Joe. Right. An evening cup of coffee. It's so early enough for a cup of coffee. Cool. I know how to make a French press, and it's good. It's good. It's quite good. <laughs> So thanks for watching today's episode of TIY. If you're still watching and you like this episode, hit the like button below, hit the subscribe button below, become a subscriber to TIY. We're making new things all the time here and we'd love for you to come and follow our journey as we make new things, learn new things, and try new things. So I've been trying to hit our schedule. I really do want to post every Tuesday, Thursday, and some Saturdays here and there. Hopefully every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday to be honest. But it's been kind of tricky to this point. This video's coming out on a Friday and this weekend I have to produce a video for like a different project so I'm not going to hit this Saturday. We're definitely posting the next video for TIY on Tuesday. I can't wait for you to see that video. It's going to be so fun. I hope you've enjoyed TIY so far. Always drop suggestions in the comments below. I always want to hear what you guys want to see me try to do, and I want to keep on finding new things to work on. So, hope you like this episode. Can't wait for the next one. See you then.